Okay, this is the first part of calculations for the molar heat effusion of ice. Now, the first thing that you've got to do is collect your data. So you'll go into lab and you'll be given an empty calorimeter. It should be composed of two styrofoam cups and a plastic lid. Now, the plastic lid, you're going to want to keep it on the calorimeter, especially if you've got water in there so that you don't spill any on the scales. Okay, so the first thing that you do is you need to uh, mass out your empty calorimeter. Okay, and so I went and weighed one and I discovered it was 8.87 grams. Now, you're going to use this mass for every trial. You're not going to have to weigh this calorimeter every time. Just weigh it once and then you're good. Okay, then you're going to... Um, fill up your calorimeter with about 200 milliliters of warm water. We're just going to use tap water. I only used 100 milliliters of warm water. So I put that in my calorimeter, put my plastic lid on it, took it back to the scale, and I weighed that, and I discovered I had 93.03 grams um, of water and calorimeter. Um, then I went back to my bench, and before I put my ice cube into my calorimeter, I took the initial temperature to uh, two, uh, two decimal places, and I, or just one decimal place, and I discovered I had initial temperature of 40.1 degrees Celsius. Okay, then I put my ice cube into my calorimeter, put my lid on it, put the styrofoam, put the thermometer in there and I agitated the calorimeter until the ice cube was melted. Now you can tell you still have ice in there because you can hear it clinking on the thermometer. Don't keep lifting the lid up or you're going to release some heat. Okay, then I discovered that my final temperature once the ice cube was all melted was 2.1 degrees Celsius. Okay, once the ice cube was melted, I then just left the plastic lid on my calorimeter went back to the scale and I weighed how much the calorimeter, the warm water, and now the melted ice cube uh, weighed and I've had a mass of 135.54 grams. Okay, now that's what you need to do in lab. Now the second part, uh, this which is for your uh, calculations, is you would go to your second data table so here in my second data table, I need to figure out how much uh, the water weight that I poured into my calorimeter. So it has right after it, you want to take B minus A. So the B minus A is from the previous table. So B is 93.9, oh, sorry, 03 grams. Okay, so that should be 03 grams. So 93.03 grams minus A, which was 8.87 grams, and I got 84.16 grams. Okay, that's how much my water weighed. Okay, now the next step is to calculate the mass of ice in the calorimeter. So that's step E, which is 135.54 minus B, which was 93.03, and there I get a mass of 42.51 grams. Okay, now the next thing that we need to do is calculate the change in temperature of the calorimeter, which was step D minus C. Now, step D is 2.1 minus C, and C happened to be that 40.1. I'll just bring it up a little bit so you can see it, 40.1. So that gives us a negative 38.0 degrees Celsius. Okay, and all the negative sign is is to let you know that um, the water in the calorimeter lost some heat. 
Okay, then we need to find the change in temperature of the ice water. So that's the water that formed when the ice cube melted. Now we're assuming that the, the ice cube was at zero degrees Celsius. So all we have to do here is take step D, which is 2.1, and subtract zero degrees. So we get 2.1 degrees Celsius. Okay, so there's all your data and the first part of your calculations. So we're going to use the second table to continue on with our calculations.